Hey guys, Cody from CMP Attachments here. We're gonna be going over to show you guys how to change from a single auxiliary to a dual auxiliary setup on your machine for a grapple. And uh, show you how to set up your hoses and uh, the do's and don'ts. So let's get into it. So you got your machine already set up for single auxiliary. Now you change to a different machine. Now we need to make this thing dual auxiliary. So first thing we're gonna do, get all of our hoses off of here. Yeah, remove your block and you're gonna need a 916 socket for this. Okay, then you're gonna take your dual auxiliary block here. Double check, make sure your O-rings are in there. Be a one inch wrench. Tighten both of these fittings on that block. Okay. Now, you gotta remove the two fittings on here to be able to thread in the T that we will be sending you to convert this to dual auxiliary. Also a one inch wrench. So being that you already got a T on your A port, this T that you get sent, this one is going to be going to your B port. These are your crossover hoses. Really important to pay attention to when you're installing these. You wanna make sure that A goes to A for these ports on the motors. So on the top of your motor, you'll see there's an A and a B. You wanna make sure that A goes to the A port on your other motor. B to the B port on your other motor. You wanna keep them the same. If you don't do that, you'll have some bad problems.
And again, I can't stress this enough to you guys. Make sure before you hook that hose up, you got your A here and your A here. Make sure they go together. You'll need a 7 8 wrench and 11 16 There you go. Now you can set up your, your clamp in the center and your rotates to your machine. That's your dual auxiliary setup. Made here, made better, CMP.